Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to make a simple gallery without a database. You can easy to integrate this gallery with your website. And you can upload images in two different methods. First, you can upload images to a folder and it will show up in the gallery. And second method, you can upload images via an admin panel. We create a small admin panel with a simple login system. So you can upload images via admin panel. Also, you can delete the images. Now let's make the gallery. Before we get into the video, please do me a favor. Kindly subscribe to this channel and help me to create more videos like this. Click the link in the video description and you will be able to see this web page. So now you have to open your code editor, create a PHP file to show our images. If I need to gallery. So I created a file called gallery.php and copy the code from my blog and paste it into it. So by using this code, we are fetching all images from the gallery folder and displaying as a loop in this web page. So we have to open our project folder and create a folder called gallery. You can name it anything you want. Also, you have to make sure to change the name here and here. Okay, so we have to run this gallery.php file. We got a blank page because we don't have any images in that folder right now. So we have to copy some images into it. I'm going to paste some images into this. So if I refresh this page, I will be able to see all these images listed here. If I delete this image and refresh the page, that is removed from our web page. Okay. So now you got an idea how we can display the images from our folder into a web page. So now we have to create a die. So if you are building a project for your customer, you have to make a good admin panel to handle all these things. I mean, the customer to be able to manage his gallery from a web browser. Now we have to create a file called admin.php. And we have to copy the code from my blog. And save it. In this file, we are doing a few things. Like you can able to log in into the admin panel by using this username and password. You can hard code your username and password. like this when someone enter the correct username and password it will create a section and give a value of one and we are storing the section value into this user access variable so here the value of the user access variable not equal to one it will show the login form otherwise it will show our upload form after that we are showing our gallery with a delete image option you have to make sure to add your gallery folder details here the folder name should be match save this and we are going to run this admin.php file so this is our admin panel we have to enter our username and password that is username is user and password is my pass123 Click login and now we are in our admin panel. If you want to add more images, click choose file, find the image and click upload. Now you can see the image is uploaded and displaying here. If you go to gallery, also you can see the image displaying here. If you want to delete, any of this image you can simply click delete and it will delete 
from your admin panel also from your gallery if I delete another one that also deleted from the gallery now we are going to integrate this gallery into a normal website I copied one of our old project and pasting into it and it has an index file and an image folder so when you open that web page we can see that simple landing page and here we can see a gallery option but we are not seeing any of images now we are going to connect our gallery into this web page so open the index.php and find the gallery part so this is the gallery part and if you change the file name like you will be able to see the image display here also if you want to add multiple images like copy paste it will show like this so we have to add our images from our gallery so so we have to copy our code from my blog the first one for displaying the gallery copy the code paste it into it so now we are going to replace this code with our image displaying code okay If I run this, I can see six files with the same image. Okay, now I'm going to change this image name to PHP echo dollar file means the file name and closing the PHP. And if I refresh, I can see the images from our gallery. Here we can see two images repeating that because we still keeping this image code on the top so if I remove this we can only see five images okay now if I upload one more image into this refresh we can see that in our gallery okay delete remote upload it again it's back on so this is how we can make a gallery without database we have an admin panel and we have a login and we can upload image also we can delete image and we can display the image wherever we want in our web page so hope you like this video if you have any doubt related to this video you can let me know in the comments and let me know how this help you to complete your web page if this video really help you please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video and help me to grow this channel thank you